an extra light jacket just because we're already in the 40s. We could shave off maybe a degree or two more before we hit daybreak here across central Indiana. So a bit different than yesterday morning. With a clear sky, temps upper 40s near 50s. Chilly start this morning and over the past 24 hours, at least compared to this time this morning or yesterday morning, already upper 40s. We were in the mid 50s, so we're a good six degrees cooler compared to yesterday. 49 degrees right now, clear sky winds out of the northeast, pushing three miles per hour. It is quiet. Visibility is good this morning for a lot of locations. Not much going on on Storm Tracker, though, and that's going to be a, at least a quiet forecast for the remainder of the morning through the afternoon. Cloud cover well south of us. The showers we saw this past weekend well east of us. We don't really have too much going on across the upper Midwest. So area of high pressure is really keeping most of us dry for the time being before we start to see a few changes by the end of the week. Temperature trends over the next several hours will continue to warm, but it's going to be a very slow process here. Lower 60s by around 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, upper 60s, nearing 70 by mid-afternoon today. And then later on today, we should hit our high of about 72 degrees by 5 o'clock with a lot of sunshine through the later portion of this afternoon. So it's looking like another fantastic day. 72 here in Indianapolis, 74 in Shelbyville, 74 also in Columbus, low 70 just north of the city and then later on tonight cool it off again with our temperatures mid 50s by midnight tonight with a mostly clear sky. Mostly clear sky is going to allow our temperatures to fall back into the 40s for outlying areas 47 in Bloomington 47 in Bedford 46 in Terre Haute early tomorrow morning and 46 in Green Castle during the day tomorrow. It's going to be another great day a little bit warmer in spots with our temperatures starting to see a slow warming trend. So most of us should warm into the mid 70s tomorrow. We start off in the 50s. But sunshine really getting to work here during the day tomorrow. So we should be warming into the mid upper 60s by noon and should be in the lower to mid 70s once a lot of you are wrapping up your work day. 75 degrees in Indianapolis tomorrow, 74 in Bloomington, 74 also up in Lafayette. So everybody getting in on some of that warmer air during the day on Thursday, or I should say Wednesday and Thursday, we're actually going to continue to see our temperatures warm as well. Few clouds do begin to develop, and this is a day of transition for us where we see temperatures warm. We do see that isolated shower chance as well, but I do think we see plenty of dry time during the day. We're going to take a look at our future cast model five o'clock. We'll start to see that pop and shower activity again, fairly isolated in nature. So not everybody will see showers isolated in nature during the day on Thursday, but what everybody will see on Friday is that potential for a few showers. Winds will also begin to pick up temperatures also on the warmer side as well. And this is also associated with an area of low pressure. And you can see that isolated shower chance early on come Friday. And then our shower chances really start to become a bit more widespread during the afternoon hours, Friday and late Friday evening. So Friday night football this week might be a touch soggy, so something to plan ahead for. Showers should exit early on come Saturday. We'll salvage the afternoon. The only difference we're seeing here is our temperatures and chilly air is going to begin to move in and it's going to be a significant cool down from the 80s possibly to the mid 50s. So that's almost a 30 degree swing in 20 four hours. Temperature trend over the next five days, you notice will begin to warm up slowly. Upper 70s to near 80 by the end of the week and then mid 50s come Saturday. Chapman heating and cooling eight day forecast does show that chance of rain and wind by the end of the week. Then we'll dry it out Saturday and Sunday. Temps in the mid 50s. We climb to the lower 60s come Sunday with a mostly sunny sky and then early next week we'll start to see our temps return to near seasonal with an isolated shower chance too.